Welcome to Trainer Kite Boot Camp, where we show you the basics of how to fly the leading edge trainer kite. Look for an open area with lots of extra space downwind. Learn to feel the wind by listening and watching for shifts in both speed and direction. Pay attention, there are wind indicators all around. You just have to know what to look for. With your back to the wind, remove the kite from its bag. It comes ready to go with the lines already attached. All you have to do is unfold it. Release the lines from the Velcro on the kite. Secure the trailing edge with some weight. The windier it gets, the more weight it takes to hold it in place. Make sure to double check the bridle for twists. Walk straight up wind as you unwind. Untwist the lines by spinning the bar. Make sure the lines are straight. When self-launching, don't tension the lines until you are ready. Before we show you the launch, we need to go over the wind window. The outer edge is the neutral zone, where the kite produces the least amount of power. And in the middle is the power zone. Flying the kite in the left side of the wind window takes you to the left. And flying it in the right takes you to the right. At the bottom left, there is the landing zone. And there is the same on the right. On both sides, there are flying zones. This is where the kite flies most of the time. Straight overhead is the transition zone, where the kite changes directions. Body position is the same for both self and assisted launches. Keep your hands close together, then pull the bar towards you. Make sure you bend your knees to absorb the pull from the kite. The kite should fly straight up into the neutral zone overhead. Steer it to the left by pulling on the left side of the bar, and to the right by pulling on the right side. For this video, we concentrate on the left side of the window. Make sure you practice both sides. Slowly bring the kite down into the flying zone on the left. When you are riding and the wind is solid, you can just park your kite in this zone. Try to keep your hands close together. Not much steering input is required. If the wind is light, you generate more power by flying the kite in a figure eight pattern. This power stroke is often referred to as pumping or working the kite. Widen your grip slightly for a bit more leverage. Concentrate on keeping your shoulders back and your arms extended. Now, fly it down low at the edge of the window. 
Flying it in this zone helps simulate landing. Bring it down so the lower wingtip touches the ground. Now, with a bit of practice, you're ready to take kiteboarding lessons from a certified instructor. Both the 2 meter trainer kite seen in this video and my session, Volume 1, are available at leadingedgeproductions.ca.